Hey there, YouTubers! Uh, hi there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to the DIY. Been a while, right? Happy 101 subscribers. We're actually at the time I'm recording this. hundred and twenty nine um, thank you to all those of you who have subscribed it means a lot to me and this is kind of like this is a two-part series for my 101 subscriber special so today we're doing DIY tie-dye you may be thinking well you can just follow a kit I'm not following a kit I'm using regular fabric dye so it's kind of you know off the hinge anyways so we're tie-dyeing seven t-shirts today, all plain, pure cotton white t-shirts I picked up from Walmart. You're going to need to do a few things that I have already done, which is pre-wash the t-shirts, make, sure make sure there's no residual starch left over. Because of the specific dye I'm using, uh, it doesn't interact well with starch and causes it to bleed a little bit. You're gonna need rubber bands. Gloves and plastic. Lots of plastic to lay over things. You're going to want to wear a t-shirt that you're okay with getting, you know, dyed. I probably won't be wearing a t-shirt during during this. Obviously, when I'm recording, I will be. But other than that, I probably will be not wearing a t-shirt. And then some sort of shoes, you don't really care. My shoes are already basically shot, so I'm just going to leave them on. I'm not really too concerned about them. After you've washed your t-shirts and you've dried them, Next step is to let them soak. Now, the site I was following said to soak them in sodium carbonate. I'm like, where the heck am I going to get powderized chalk? White chalk, no less. And that's only if you're using this specific type of fat, uh, dye they're using. I don't think I'm using that type of dye, so I'm not too concerned. Either way, I've let the t-shirt soak in this tub down here, and now we need to, now I need to teach you how to make the pattern we're going to make today. All right, so here are my seven t-shirts soaking in water. I'm gonna have to dump this out, but for the time being, here's what we're going to do. So I've picked a t-shirt. Okay, I'm gonna wring it out. It's kind of soaking wet. It all smells like detergent. I used some clean and clear Arm & Hammer detergent I got for free from Walmart. I was like, I am not spending money on cleaning these t-shirts. So. Okay, now that it's not soaking wet, any, now that it's not, you know, dripping, now it's not completely saturated. Got to get her stretched out here. Okay. And we're going to do a basic spiral. So they showed grabbing somewhere in the middle here, somewhere right around here, and they took a rod and they twisted it. I don't have that, so I'm just going to twist it with my fingers. Okay, now you take your bands and you are banded together cool now I've got seven more t-shirts to do this and a bunch of plastic to lay out and I gotta mix up the dye, which is a whole process I'm gonna teach you about. So, I'm gonna do the rest of these t-shirts, and uh, I'll join you in a bit. Okay, now that your plastic is laid, it's time to work with your dye. So this dye says it can do two large t-shirts. The website said for these types of squeeze bottles, they do one entire t-shirt. Therefore, I can only use half the dye packet per squeeze bottle. So I'm gonna get that worked out 
and then we're going to start dyeing the t-shirts. Okay, now it's time for the uh, interesting part. Now, do remember, you have two sides to your t-shirt. Okay. I'm just going to try and do half one color. Alright, that's about half a bottle, which is a quarter of a t-shirt. And then, or half a bottle is about half a t-shirt or whatever. And then we do another half a bottle. Cool. Alright. So now, I'm going to stuff this in a Ziploc bag and let it sit for 24 hours and then we'll come back and we'll do the next process. Alright, the t-shirts have sat for 24 hours. Now, the gloves go back on and we commence the next part. Well, the t-shirt, my t-shirt will come off as well. You won't see that though. But anyways, uh, we commence the next part of the tie dyeing process, the final part actually which is looking at our creations. So I'm going to pull them out of their bags and wash them. Hand wash in water. Ooh, smells like dye. Until all the color and the water that's running off of them is gone. So yeah. Let's begin, shall we? So it's been a few days and the t-shirts are uh, tie-dyed. Now, since then, what I've done is I went through, rinsed them out, and squeezed out until the ink, until the water ran clear and there was no more ink. It takes about 20 minutes per t-shirt. It's a long, laborious process. And then once you're done, I you throw them in the washer with a tiny amount of detergent, run them through, and then you let them air dry. It's been a few days, they are dry, they smell just fine, and so now we move on to the next part. Uh, we're going to bleach letters into them. So you can see here, this will be the back. The front will say 101, you know, the 101 subscriber special, and the back will say sub to Dr. Sheep. So yeah, what you'll need, so now we're done with the tie dyeing process, because most people will just quit after this but we're not going to. So what you're going to need is an iron, ta-da, freezer paper, something for your stencil. Now if you're doing a lot of t-shirts like I am, you might want to make a reusable stencil, but if you're not making a lot of t-shirts, just use freezer paper and cut out your stencil on there, because when you hit freezer paper with an iron, it sticks to your cotton t-shirt. And then you're going to want to mix up a 50% bleach, 50% water solution that you will spray over your letters. Now, this isn't a tutorial on that. I already did the tie-dye tutorial. This is just me showing you the process. It's more of a vlog DIY. If you want to know how to actually bleach letters into this, I suggest you watch the King of Randoms video, which is where I got this bleach letter idea. So, go check them out. In the meantime, I'm going to start. Um, once you've gotten it to the desired color, you want to then dunk it in ice cold water. So I'm going to have Will run cold water in the sink, make sure the sink is clean, and then uh, we can get started. All right, so this is probably the best one we have. It doesn't look half bad on this one, but uh, most of them are pretty bad. Um, it's a, it's a look, all right? It's a faded look. What, what, do, you, what do you expect? There's a bit of bleed on this one. But There's no. going to be a lot of bleed. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad, though. Now we're going to work on the back. Um, we'll see how this goes. Designed and cut by Will. Oh, my. All right, well, that's one DIY done. The t-shirts are done. And actually, as the day you're seeing this, we are recording the 101 subscriber special 
we're gonna go plant some trees. Now, I was originally gonna film me passing out the last of the t-shirts to everybody, but I don't know how well it's gonna go. Maybe I'll get buck, a buck in there, not sure. But, if this is the end, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New videos every other Saturday, 2 p.m. Central Time, and good night. Subs for trees, subs for trees, subs for trees, subs for trees. Oh, you're still here? I thought I told you to go home. Oh, you want more? I'm flattered. Check out the playlist. If you want exclusive content, check out my Instagram, doctor underscore sheep underscore YouTube. That's all lowercase. If you want to help the earth, subscribe. When I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to plant 10 trees. If you feel that's too small, then check out my channel tour where I lay out even bigger goals. Finally, stick around for the next 20 seconds and give me that sweet watch time. Bye.